So we're going to take a few minutes and talk about vocal mic technique and the effects of technique on the actual sound because of things like proximity effect and other things that a lot of us have heard of and we talk about but we don't always really understand yeah. for yeah. ourselves but then understand how to communicate to our singers about how to how to translate so proximity effect most simply is that the closer the microphone gets to the source the low end is going to be louder right more low end so p pops and plosives and that kind of thing but then also boominess and and so you know there's a tendency for singers once they hear that to just kind of oh, react to it yep sometimes proximity effect can be good sometimes there's negative effects yeah. so let's talk about proximity effect first for a few minutes yeah so uh this microphone we use and the proximity effect is there in full force with this guy if you're not careful and we've got a singer he's got fantastic mic technique i'm talking he will be on this microphone he's a studio guy he records his own vocal a lot on really nice microphones and a lot of the songs that we're doing these days let's say like the second verse of the song the melody really drops into a yeah. lower register on a lot of these newer newer tunes and he's got on this microphone like super close and then he's singing really low for his register and it's quieter. So what'll happen is- Then the second half of the verse, it goes up an octave. Right. And so they're just belting and yeah. they feel yes. normal. Right. Yeah. But the first half it's, oh, I just lost my voice. Can I have more on the monitor? I can't hear myself anymore. What's happening is yeah. the proximity effect. The level didn't change. When he's singing loud and maybe even right here, it's fine. But he gets closer to the mic and it gets quieter is the perception, but that's not it at all. It's just mud. It is. So. When he was in the middle of asking for changes, I kind of stopped. I'm like, hey, um, how about just try this? Back off one inch, inch and a half off the microphone on the verse and tell me if you hear a difference. And he did. And it was like, oh, there it is. It's like a bunch of high end got added back to the mic. It's not what it was. It was the proximity effect kicking in. That, that could go... Uh it's cool that you have someone, you had to tell someone to actually back off just a hair. Yeah. The other thing is how many times do we have the person that uh, great singer, mediocre singer, whatever, but they've watched a lot of people with bad technique and every time they go for a high note, they back away Yeah. or they raise their head. If sometimes you notice that, or sometimes some of you even stand on their tippy toes <laughs> and if the mic's on a mic stand and they stand on their tippy toes, I think it's because they're trying to get the high note. But sometimes they don't realize that that just made your vocal like come in really nice and present and then go away. Right, because right. just like proximity effect, there's this thing called the inverse square law, which says that for every doubling of distance from the source, there's a 6 dB loss of volume in the microphone. So, Which is perceived as doubling. Perceived as doubling. So right. it's like, you know, here it's great, but you double that distance and all of a sudden it goes away. Half. And again. And again, right. So if you've got a singer who's doing this, even if they're singing what they think is twice as loud, right. That distance, especially with a dynamic mic, is gone. So, how, how do you tell that to a singer though? That's a right. dentist Monday through Friday. Yeah, right. right. I I've actually uh, we had a singer that came in and she was she was pretty new. She hadn't sang a lot. Uh, it was not a professional really, but really talented. Like you could just tell. Like okay, she's got this figured out. Uh, where I was having some of these issues and I just went backstage b during a rehearsal, you know, or, or between a, I think it was actually between a rehearsal and a service. I went backstage with a mic stand and a mic and had her stand next to me and I just demonstrated where she could see sideways of what it, would, what it was doing when she was just moving back and forth. Mm -hmm. And we're talking eight or inches, or I mean, pretty good distance. She immediately saw the visual and yeah. goes, I get it. And she is not a scientist or not. I mean, I didn't explain any of the, the, the physics of it or the science. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, just, just help me by understanding this is what you're doing because you're perceiving yourself differently in your right. ears. She immediately made the correction and the ownership she had on stage changed. That's awesome. Because her vocal stayed in the mix. That's so cool. Because you can't, I mean, 
the best audio person in the world isn't going to be able to ride that and try to make that. That's not going to work. And then her husband was happier and left you alone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's it.